Hi folks, time to go into production. We have got to make about 200 of our DIY clamps. I am super excited and here's why. It's been really fun to run our shop as a job shop. I like that challenge of getting different parts in, pushing yourself outside your comfort zone, you know, being fast and efficient with uh, CAM and CAD and so forth. But there's something that's so fun about being able to invest the time and, and you know, the thought process and workflow into creating a product. And what really struck a chord was when I was hanging out with John Grimsow a few weeks ago, and it reminded me back when I used to do that on our tour mock, frankly, before uh, we spent as much time making the videos as we did, we were producing a product, we made thousands of them, and it was really, that was, geez, back in the Sprout Cam days, but it's a lot of fun. And it's fun to do that thought process of how do you make it? And the part we need to make today is this turned spacer, a through hole that's been tapped. So for us, it's gonna be a two op part lathe and mill, and we're gonna make the soft jaws today. You could do it in a single op if you had a live tooling lathe. And I'm super excited. Dale from Widget Works, who's a follower, is gonna make some of them as well. And I think probably next week in the widget, we'll hopefully be able to show some of the footage from him making them as well. But for us, soft jaws is the task at hand. You can click here. There'll be a link to both the CAD video in Fusion 360 and the CAM video in Fusion 360. But for now, let's make some chips. As a little teaser and FYI, we made some uh, pieces of the all thread. We are switching um, from a nut down here to an E-clip on the end here. The Tormach lathe has been a champ at uh, making these parts. Right now in it, we've got these little spacers. You can see the first one that came off here, which um, are what spaced the clamp apart right there. Um, this was just uh, literally the first one. Obviously, we don't want to have that uh, burr on there. The blocks are interesting. We are doing these in the lathe and in one op, which I'll, we can do a video on that. You guys, let me know in the comments below how much of this do you want to see. I think it's really cool, and I'm excited to share a lot of it. Uh, but I always want to make sure that you guys enjoy this content. We just made this thing as a test piece to run longer pieces in our Tormach lathe. Uh, obviously, we're super excited uh, to get the uh, automatic collet uh, closer so we can automate that lathe as well. Uh, what else? We've got uh, 250 flat rate boxes that just showed up to ship these bad boys out. Here was a test run yesterday, just nailing down the tool paths. Want to make sure that the lead in, lead out doesn't leave any sort of burr. So you can see that's that's not great. Um, if you look at this one, that's not bad. It could be, it could be better, but that's acceptable. And uh, we can show you how we tumble those and prep those. We are uh, going to send them out for powder coat. I'm excited to build a new powder coat oven in our new shop, but it's not going to be done in time. So uh, we're going to send them out to powder coat, but we will bring them back to do the engraving and here is the roll of shipping labels that are all ready to go for, for the orders it could be fun
nice surface finish there. We're not uh, chip loading that tool at all. You know, 516 tool is free, it's whole, but most of it's been roughed out. Awesome. Take a look at that, folks. Beautiful part, if I may say so. And then look, one of our pins, it's right in there. I realized I forgot to talk about maybe the most important thing, which is the design philosophy. Um, there's some concerns with how this is going to work, and there's a question of what's the best way to make these. So let's do this. Let's talk about that next week in next week's Wednesday widget, where we'll actually Go ahead and make a bunch of these. So with that, folks, thank you for thumbs up in this video, commenting below, sharing it with your friends. Take care. See you soon.